What do you call an alien that can um, speak Portuguese? What? A Brazilian? Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Stuart. I am. And he suffers from Vertigo. Two. What was this game developer on, seriously? Don't trust Vince with... I've seen too many alien movies. Why do I get this as a Steve Jobs type of thing? Oops. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Select the photo containing edible items. <laughs> I could have said grandma as well. Yeah, you look like little freaky aliens that'll suck my face. Yep, that's what I thought. I really hope we don't find out that's a peaceful race. Mankind. Alright. Hey Stuart, thanks for coming over. Not a problem, thanks for having me. Good to have you back on. Mm, yep. Today's game was Vertigo 2, allegedly just made by one person. Yeah. Which is quite impressive. I believe it's the game was made by one person. There may have been a few more people involved porting it over to the PSVR 2. I'm not totally sure, but let's go with the the made by Sounds one person. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and if it was, very impressive. I, I wasn't sure when you said that and you, you really went on about it. I thought, oh, okay, he's, he's lining me up. It's going to be a bit uh, janky to steal one of your terms. But no, it looked great. It looked really good um, straight from the get-go. Um, just interesting, very, you know, not perfect. It's not it's not groundbreaking graphics, but it's it's very forgivable for the gameplay. So, yeah. What an interesting world. One person made all this, huh? One person and a lot of acid. That's so cool. That looks like the inside of a mouth. We've got some floating jellyfish pods and we've got some leftovers from Crash Bandicoot. I'm genuinely left a little bit speechless after that. What an interesting vision. Oh, a little frog playing guitar. Oh, that looked really cool. Uh, interesting characters thus far. Okay, by Zach to the Skip Brown. Good on you, Zach. Good for you. Yeah. Very to go to. Oh. He kind of puts you straight in with a little robot. Yep. With a creepy, creepy eye. <laughs> That uh, starts to take you around the facility. Yep. Interesting way to become acclimatised to the game. Well, it's very cool because I've, I've obviously played a few of these now and um, some of them are just, you know, there's so much information overload and talking and talking and talking. And, yeah, and yeah they're, all, they're always the same. It's like, here's where you go, this is the world, blah, blah, blah. This was, um, it wasn't too long. It wasn't too much to take in and it, and it was fun. And it was actually funny too. There's a few moments that were actually quite interesting and bizarre and it was so visually appealing. So... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. The, just the, the generic uh, walk around and, and whatnot. So, yeah. Glorified secretary, really. Mm-hmm. Ah, just the so Brian's oh, been here for, for a while. Pretty impressive. But at least he's a good employee. All right, that's cool. You can grab. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Torture works, too, though. And it's fun to make organic beings suffer. Uh, that's, no, that's true. That's fair enough. Alrighty. Ventilation. Shooting range. Here we go. Aha. Okay. Cool. Let's see how fast it goes. You'll be murdering my nice. brothers in no time. <laughs> the gun mechanics worked. Yeah. Reload. Once again, this was, um, from what I've played here from memory, one, one of the Definitely one of the better ones. It was so much more simple to, yep, yeah, that reload, take out, and the, the actual shotgun pump was so satisfying, and it worked, and it was really cool. I didn't have any troubles with uh, with any of it loading. There was a few, I think I, I did hit, you know, uh, put gun away a few times, but it, once you get used to that, yep, yeah, nice and simple, all worked. The I did have a little problem with the, um, like, the rectacle and the uh, the sights, but not not a lot, just a little bit. But um, no, other than that, it was. I thought it was great. Oh, angry vagina! Oh, can I take that? Can I have that? Thank you. Thank you. You just yep, as you were. All right. Oh. Ah. Oh.
Well, how cool is that? An actual pump action in a, in a game. Admin. <laughs> yep, sounds about right, the admin staff. I'm not gonna lie, this is very satisfying. This is probably one of my most favorite games for the whole reload. It just, it just works. Let's talk about the creature design, uh -huh. the aliens. Um, what I do love about this is the fact that there's so many straight off the bat different enemy types. Did you enjoy it or no? I did. Um, I mean, look, they do look weird. They do look, it look, look like a child drew them or whatever. Um, you know, very handy capable, which you'll see. Um, and some of them straight after them reminded me a lot of Ghostbusters, but it just, it worked. You forgive them. Like, like I said, the, the gun stuff worked so well and the, like the blood or the goose batter or whatever it was, it worked, it worked really well. And they were very reactionary to what you were doing. To, I mean, it's a bit sadistic, but when you're shooting the bodies and they're moving on the, on the ground, like a lot of the thought's been put into it. Um, even with the, I know this is off topic, but even when you show the toilet, you lift the toilet, you can flush the toilet, um, no reason for it, but it's, it's the little things. So um, back, back to your question, uh, back to your question, the, yeah, the designs are, they're silly. They're a bit, they're a bit weird, but it works. It just works with the game. It's fun. It doesn't, obviously doesn't take itself too seriously, but yeah, it worked. Ah! Go away, Jesus Christ. Paris, oh. the data mast. Why couldn't we need to go oh. to the data mast, Paris? Just stay there. Do I shoot you guys? Are you bad? It's like a space rifle. And uh, for some reason, cowboy hatted. Oh, this is cool. All right, where are you? Yep, okay, yep, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Don't be so cocky. There we go. Now. Ooh, the good stuff. Full health restored. Thank you. <laughs> Just what you need. Does it flush? It even flushes. What more do you want? Oh. <laughs> it's, the, it's the little things. It's the little things. Yeah, um, there, there's been a few negative about um, some jankiness mm. and stuff like that. I didn't encounter any um, apart from on the gunship. Yeah, using I was the gunship say, control. I, it must be in the same spot. Yeah, I found initially it was okay, but I think I think it felt like I was like that physically, which I probably was, and then I think I got myself turned around. But yeah, that was the only part where, because the ship's obviously moving and the VR stuff is getting used to you moving and the arms at one point were like that long. But yeah, that was the only part I found an issue with. Um, everything else was fine. Using the, the the health thing, that was that was nice and simple and worked and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's just, yet again, satisfying. And yeah, watching you reload, I did ask myself the question, will reloading weapons in VR ever get old? Probably not. Even that little flick you got to do with the revolver, just just the simplest thing. It's just, yeah, I thought, okay, if I put that in there, will it just do it by itself? But no, it just, it just nicely flop, flops there for a little while. You got to just, you know, flick it back in. Ah, awesome. And we have contact. Plank gunships are our tail. Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad without a rectical. Oh, this is very awkwardly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great kid, don't get cocky. <laughs> I like that they fly directly in my eye line. God, this is kind of just... Have to keep turning. Oop. And what I also liked is you jumped in the same places that I did when you just opened the door and there's a hand alien it right in front of you. You're like, Wait! and I'm like, I'm glad he did that because yeah. that happened to me too. Lucky I had the shotgun. No, I get away. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Well, I'll just continue on my merry way then. Back to. Oh. Oh. Lucky I had my shotgun. Jesus. Through here. Jesus. Oh. You're getting good at that, aren't you guys? Just 
central. Where are we going? Oh, where the fuck did you guys come from? I hope you guys aren't asking for help and I'm just not understanding. I'd feel really bad then. Oh. Ah! Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. It's, it's quite simple. It feels good, it feels like it's all there. Now let's have a look. No. It's a very messy server room. Is that where I came in? Okay. A narrative wide, the humor hit for you? Yeah, it was it was surprisingly, once again, I didn't expect that. And straight from the beginning, where you've got that I, I don't I've never played the first one. I don't know anything about the first one, but that odd character with the tentacle and the half severed arm that's still sort of, you know, just to look at visually it was great with the blood going around still, that was awesome. And the little back and forth with the frog like creature. Uh and then as I'm sure you'll show the just the subtle bits of humor that come through. Um, even with the robot, with the bad joke about the freezer, uh, and then of course the porn pornography joke, it was good, and it wasn't sort of just hitting you over the head. It wasn't like a, an '80s film, which is just one liner after one liner, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. It was it was it was just enough. The story was the story was simple enough to work, and you you just got it. You're like, yep, straight ahead. You know what's going on. So there's a problem with your Wi-Fi. All right, let's see what's going on. Did you know? Filters were added to all Plank data masks in 1974 to block employee access to internet pornography. <laughs> Following strikes, riots, and four deaths, the filters were removed 53 minutes later. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> HR were very concerned. Hey, buddy. That's okay, fair enough. That's good, day, mate. Uh... This isn't gonna go well, is it? Hello. Ah, don't touch me. Ah, ha, ha. Mm. And what I started to take note of as well was the music, especially in that gunship mode where it was mm. this weird, almost prog rock, yeah. um, Logan's Run kind of. Uh, 70s like synthy kind of yeah yeah like, Doctor Who vibe to it which was kind of just worked it was yeah. just like oh this is weird it fits in the tone of the game um, you know it's not the sharpest game but it looks good it looks fine no it is it's just a bit of fun it really is it's it doesn't take itself seriously as I said and it's um the gameplay's good yeah it's 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 forgivable in the parts that it's a bit manky and whatnot but no I thought it was good it reminded me of of an older like a PS2 game PS3 game that you'd, you'd want to play as VR, but you didn't obviously get the chance to then, so, yeah. Oh, that's a telephone. Oh, that's a cool little, uh, little thing. I've got no, oh no, I've got no legs. machine guns I can pick up. Oh, you got yourself out, did you? Yeah, no worries, I'm fine. Oh, all right, well. No. Really? <laughs> Stop it. Tomorrow, I can talk about what's going on. Wow, this game has everything. It makes you work out, it makes you shoot. Oh, what more do you want? Could be a bit of car racing, that'd be good. Okay, well, we do this at the end of every virtually real. One from four game one fun for would you buy would you play are you oh, yeah. interested to play more so and you can have varying degrees of thumbness thumbness no. it's a word now thumbness okay so what's this game get for game one thumbness yeah yep yeah. and for would you buy would you play do you want to play thumbness. more two thumbnesses yeah two thumbs for me i mean this is right up my alley uh single player adventure shooter game boom yeah and up until now i haven't experienced well the only jank i've experienced i found fun and I thought it was, it, it made me just want to play more. It's like, hey, it's not taking itself too seriously. Um, it's not throwing jokes at you every second, though. Yep. 
Um, there's interesting mechanics, the healing mechanic, the swimming mechanic. Yep. Yep. Uh, insert Stuart's doggy paddle. Oh, that was <laughs> That was great. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's value for money, and I'll be interested to see whether I agree. I'd, I'd love to keep playing and see where the story goes. Yep. All that's left to say is thank you, Stuart, for coming over and playing Vertigo Two. Absolutely welcome. And thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. Bye. Catch up. How do aliens watch sex? Oh, Pornhubble. <laughs>